Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, it's now time to do the benchmark tests. Now, I keep getting that questions task if I could do all of it, all the forms I get, these benchmarks. So, I'm going to do all these individually for you. The first one we're going to run in this video is going to be Quadrant. And again, regards to benchmarking, I'll say, I've said it many, many times, it's an indication of where a device could potentially be. But other things go into it, such as usability, obviously how fluid it is in everyday usage. Benchmark are a good idea, but they don't always give a true representation. Anyway, that out of the road, we're going to run first of all, it's Quadrant. So, as you can see here, run the benchmark. And off it goes. Right, so here we are, here's the final benchmark. So, click yes on that bad boy, and where does it come in? Bring it a bit closer to the screen. As you can see there, the HTC One X is just underneath it in terms of the normal quadrant scores. And it's got, is it 4868, which is a pretty impressive score straight out of the box. Obviously no modifications, it is a stock ROM just coming straight out from Sony. Uh, and that's all a testament to the Snapdragon S4 processor. You know, it, it is, one of the best on the market in terms of dual core you can't beat it and um, even rival some of the quad core processors so yeah that's the quadrant benchmark what do you think are you impressed are you not impressed let me know in a comment down below anyway i'm going to get off this one if you want to see more of these benchmark ones i'll put like little links on you know, on the page now and i'll try and link them all together anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video cheers everyone